What's up guys, Bodie Davison back with another video for you. Today's video, we're gonna dive into Teespring SEO tutorial for 2020. So in this Teespring SEO tutorial, we're gonna go through what works now and what used to work and how you can edit your listings so that you can get your SEO game on. So SEO stands for search engine optimization and search engine optimization is what's gonna rank your listing over time. So I've got a little uh, answer here pulled up by Teespring themselves. And if you just read this, this is in um, Feb February 18th of 2020, so only a couple of months ago. And it's talking about uh, marketplace search results are ranked based on an algorithm combining buyer search terms, listing keywords, sales history, and seller trust scores. So if you go back to the video that I put out yesterday or the day before about Teespring trust scores, I'll link that down below. Uh, I talk about that and that's uh, very important. Obviously sales history comes into how you get your trust score up. So you've got to get those first few sales uh, driven onto the account so that you can get onto Teespring Marketplace. And yeah, this is the interesting part though. So the algorithm is by buyer search terms and listing keywords. So they used to have a section, if we just go down, oh, if we just go to listings here, and I'll just show you with my listings. So if we just go, uh, it doesn't matter which one. Let's just say we go this one and click edit. And then as it loads up, so they used to have a section in here which had tags and you would hunt out uh, 10 different tags that you could have for your listing and that would help with your search ranking. So your search engine optimization. What you need to do now though, and what I haven't done on this listing here obviously, is uh, do exactly what they're saying here. So it's combining buyer search terms and listing keywords. So what we need to look for is listing keywords that we can put into our listing without making it look spammy. And um, even if you put them into the title, that's gonna help as well. It's just like ranking on Google or on YouTube as well. It always comes down to, or on eBay actually, as I think about that. It always comes down to title and description and having ranking keywords in there. So today's video in this SEO tutorial, uh, how do we do that? How do we find those keywords? So what you do is go over to Google Trends. I've shown you guys this the other day and um, I'll have this video linked down below as well, but on Google Trends, it's gonna show you what words are trending. So if we put in something like running shirt, so running shirt, and then if we just go, that's just in the United States. So if we go worldwide, and it's gonna show you the searches on this over the last 12 months or whatever you wanna set this up, but for 12 months is what we're interested in. So you see what's, uh, what's ranking and where it's at. So as you can see, a running shirt has a lot of uh, searches. So it's actually a very big niche, and it's actually something that I personally do myself, quite a bit of running. And then what you can do here though is go compare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare some keywords. So if we go running t-shirt, for instance, now it's gonna compare that. So which one's more popular here? Running shirt is definitely the more popular keyword. And so that would be something that we'll incorporate into our our listing. So obviously not for this listing, but if the, if the theme was running, then we would wanna put these um, keywords into it. So you would want running shirt, running t-shirt. You can add another comparison here. You could have like running clothes. And then you're getting a good idea of what's most popular. So there you go, running clothes is actually more popular and than the other one there. So running, run it, what was the second one I done? Running t-shirt. So running clothes is actually more popular. So you get the idea though, you can have whatever niche, it can be like hunting shirt or um, it could be yoga t-shirt, it could be uh, gym clothes, it could be whatever whatever your niche is, followed by shirt or followed by t-shirt, followed by clothes, and just try and find some good keywords that are um, getting a lot of search terms. So that's gonna help with your long-term SEO. And so with this SEO tutorial, when you have your search engine optimization, like have your listing SEO optimized, what happens is over time with them keywords and the more that Google crawls your site, and um, it depends how the Teespring set up as well, but as it's telling us here, it is set up like this. 
um, because it's combining all of these things with their algorithm. So very similar to how everything ranks online. And when you do all these things right, so when you have this SEO optimized listing, then over time it's gonna rank higher and what that'll do on the uh, Teespring marketplace is also bring you up higher in their search rankings. So if there's, you know, a hundred sellers that are selling running t-shirts, but your your listing in particular has more good keywords in there and ranks higher, uh, then you're more likely to be shown before all those other running shirts. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. And just as an added bonus, I added another thing on here, which is the uh, a free keyword tool that I use called keyword.io. So this could be another way for you to find keywords. So um, you could just go running shirt and just hit enter. And this one, it'll come up saying that, do you wanna pay for it sort of thing, but you don't have to do that. So you just go down here and go, no thanks. But um, what it's gonna give you is a lot of uh, keywords. They're always in alphabetical order. And so another good keyword there would be best running shirt. So let's put that in as another comparison because that would be another good keyword and see what that comes up as. So not that high, but yeah, you get the point guys. So this is another way that you could look for uh, different keywords like compression shirt would be another one. There'd be a lot of different ones. Um, funny running shirt. So that might be, that might be one actually. Let's go remove that and go funny running shirt just for interest here and no, that one's even lower as well so there you go but uh yeah you guys get the point i hope that helps you guys out so what you need to do is go through and do all of your individual listings so if we just go back let's say we optimize that first one then you would go and edit the next one and keep optimizing all of your listings if they're all in the same niche like this is all the dog niche if you're all in the running niche you would just do all of them the same pretty much and it's going to help them rank so I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, please give the video a like for me. Comment below if you have any questions and make sure you hit subscribe.